Okay, now what I've done is I've laid out my screen so that I'm um, using two different browsers. Now the reason for this is so that I can edit on the left hand side and then look at the results on the right hand side. And in a sense, at the same time I'm testing the website in two different browsers as well, which is, um, which is, is a good idea m more later on, but, um, but I, I just find it useful to be able to be logged in in one browser and visiting the site as a as a non-logged in visitor on the right hand side. So I'm using Safari over here on the right and Chrome on the left. Later on I'll also be using Firefox because Firefox has some more useful tools for helping me fix things like uh, why there's too much white space here for example. But right now I just want to show you, uh, you how the text would be edited, the text here, and also how the layout works. And, and through this process um, um, you, you'll, you'll start to understand how Divi, which is the theme framework used for, for WordPress here, makes things um, easier from the sense of uh, page layout, but, but at the same time it raises some other issues as well. One of those issues is suddenly the um, the WordPress interface looks a whole lot different from what uh, you might be used to if you've used WordPress before. For example, and uh, what I'm talking about here is basically the page builder. So getting used to that. Okay, so let's get stuck in.